Hi, my name is Sasha and I'm going to spend the next few minutes telling you about our work with an immersive 3D video augmented technology. First, let's find out about the problems we are trying to solve and why we chose this technology. Australian universities have been adapting their practices by opening satellite campuses, requesting greater industry involvement to facilitate learning and adjusting to a flexible learning culture. With campuses at a great distance apart, how can we ensure equivalent learning experiences? How do we get the students and staff to interact? Industry is interested in helping students grow, but they too find it difficult to find the time to justify the cost of travelling to campus, especially true for regional campuses. Technology can alleviate some of the issues. However, which technology should we use? 2D technologies are great for broadcasting information to lots of users. However, if you want to have multiple social conversations using video, scalability issues with screen space and bandwidth become a problem. 3D technologies remove the scalability issues associated with 2D technologies, but do require higher computer requirements to run. The most popular platforms like Second Life or virtual reality headsets use virtual avatars. These avatars are great when people are anxious speakers, but the lack of video removes the visual cues that enable a complete and more realistic communication experience. A new technology called IC combines the best of 2D and 3D software platforms. The platform is scalable and allows for new learning opportunities. The purpose of our project is to work out how we can use this software to create new learning opportunities that remove the hurdles for transnational and industry-supported student engagement. Being 3D, I move and look around the virtual space using the keyboard and mouse. I can move backwards and I can move side to side. I can move forwards and I can look around. As default, spatial sound is used meaning that I can hear people that are close to me, to the left or right of me, as I would in a normal conversation. I can also interact with boards. For example, I can share some text, I can draw something fun, I can share a document such as a PDF, share my computer screen, and do other interesting things like work on quizzes. However, the best feature of IC is the ability to travel back in time thanks to its 3D recording capability. This is how I can show you some of the exciting trials that my project team has worked on. Let's time travel. I am currently immersed into a 3D recording of an alumni event held in 2015. The event had 72 participants. The event was about getting our students from Wollongong and Dubai to interact and learn about their engineering degree from alumni located around the world. The learning objectives included providing students with an understanding as to the job opportunities available through their degree, practice communicating with members from industry, developing an understanding between the relationship of what they learn at university and what they need at the workforce. I can walk around and revisit every conversation as it happened, taking notice of visual and audio cues. But take note that as it is a recording, the participants can't see me and I can't talk to them. Only listen. What you are currently seeing is the open networking component of the event. The structured component was where most of the learning occurred. The students walked around in small groups and started discussions with the alumni. Let's listen to some of the conversations. Uh, engineer of some sort and especially mechanical, you're set to work in any field. like. That is so used, you know, most people need a mechanical engineer. Sussing out how uh, the graduates have transitioned between uh, their degree to into the workforce and, you know, just find out what has worked for some people uh, in regards to actually getting a job and like progressing from your degree, because I understand that can be a really difficult task. While I'm travelling, once again, we arrive at a project pitch event. In this event, students from Wollongong were required to pitch project ideas for a design and management subject to industry experts and students from the Dubai campus. The industry guests helped the students refine the ideas, 
while the Dubai students help to provide a global perspective on the application of their product. Students would repitch their ideas many times, refining their ideas with each conversation. Our next time travelling journey takes us to a case study involving one of our lecturers in Wollongong, conducting an exam revision lecture simultaneously with students from our Singapore and Malaysian campuses. The students had an opportunity to gain extra face-to-face -face time with the lecturer without him leaving his office in Wollongong. This provided evidence that it is possible to provide extra teaching support to the transnational campuses without the cost and burden of travel. Some of the quantitative findings from the free case studies include Almost all participants developed a more positive opinion of online collaborative tools. This in itself provides the community with greater confidence to use such technologies and implement them into the workforce, improving productivity. Almost all participants also believed that the activities were a beneficial learning experience. Considering that almost all industry participants would not have participated if the event had been held on campus, this does showcase the potential of creating new learning opportunities. For example, the IC pitch was shown to have had a substantial impact on learning. This was evidenced by the students presenting a greater initial understanding of their project ideas compared to previous years via a face-to-face -face academic panel. We have commenced publishing the outcomes of each case study together with lessons learned in high-quality Australian and international journals and conferences. We aim to share our experiences to help advance knowledge in this area. Now you have a small insight as to how we are using IC to increase transnational and industry-supported student engagement. Further case studies and research into this area of innovation continues.